Okay guys, welcome back to Percussion Works. Uh, it's been a while, but it's been crazy last month. I think it's been a month since I did the last video. But a lot of changes. Uh, some good, some bad, but uh, we keep pushing on. And the good Lord uh, keeps holding us up. But I want to bring back some good music for you guys. And uh, something really important. We're continuing with the beginner series, but this is kind of a little more advanced for the beginner series. So we're going, we're gonna be leaving the beginner series soon, but I think I can still put this one on. This is Rumba Guaguanco from Cuba, okay? The particular one that we're gonna to play today is Rumba from La Habana, which is, uh, I believe it's the capital city of Cuba, okay? And this one comes, this particular Rumba Guaguanco comes from there. There's three types of traditional, traditional rumba in Cuba. There's rumba guaguancó, rumba yambú, and rumba colombia. We'll cover all three, but today specifically is rumba guaguancó from La Habana, Cuba. Okay, now try to remember, or what you can do is you can go back to the videos that I did of clave because rumba must go in clave correctly. Otherwise you're doing something that they call cruzado, which means you're crossed. You're going against the grain, okay? Rumba guaguanco is played and rumba clave. This particular one we're gonna play today is three, two clave, okay? But rumba, rumba guaguanco de Cuba is played in rumba clave, not in song clave, in rumba clave. If you have any questions or, or thoughts about that or understand, uh, misunderstanding about that, go check out my other beginning video on understanding Cuban clave. You check that out, pause this video, check it out and come back. Okay, you're back. <laughs> but anyway, so, we're going to, I'm gonna to explain to you how it works. You notice that if you watch that video, the clave de rumba is a two bar phrase. Well, guess what? Rumba guaguanco is really a two bar phrase too, so they go perfect together. Now we're talking about three two clave, which is this you're gonna see, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but I'm gonna do it with my foot. That's rumba, that's clave de rumba, three, two. One and two, and three, and four, and one and two, and three, and four, and one and two, and three, and four, and one and two, and three, and four. Why do we call it three, two? Because there's three strikes on the first bar and two strikes on the second bar. You you saw that in the, in the, uh, the clave video that I put up, the video explaining uh, uh, clave de rumba and clave de son, Cuban clave all together. But that will, that will give you the understanding of now the way pain, because it's a two bar phrase, rumba guaguanco is a two bar phrase. Now let me say this before I show you the rhythm. Rumba guaguanco is not traditionally played with one person. It's traditionally played with at least, at the very least two guys on on gong guys, but more more often than not, three guys, and then you have a guy playing gaja, and you have a guy playing clave, and a sheke, and people singing. It's a beautiful thing. Check it out, Rumba Guaguanco de Cuba. You'll see many videos on on YouTube of them playing it. Beautiful. Okay, but in this situation here, I'm playing it by myself. The rhythm pattern, not the soloing that the quinto does. But the rhythm now. Let's break it down. Lowest drum, salidor, okay, that plays uh, that plays the lowest pattern, the, the, the pattern that keeps it going. In here, you'll see me play it on the four every time. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But there's a separate person playing that in, in rumba, in real rumba. There's a separate person playing this particular drum. The other drum is called tres golpe or tres dos. That guy plays another pattern. And the third place in 
second person plays the quinto, which is soloing on top of that. But very, not going crazy soloing, very intricate and very well placed. You have to listen to Rio Glumba from Cuba to understand. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm in, let's say I'm in a band, whatever band I'm in, right? And the band leader goes, oh, let's play Guaguanco. Me, I'm the conguero in the band. I have to be able to play Guaguanco by myself with two congas. Maybe if there's a drummer there, he can play the clave or something like that, okay? That's where this comes into play, that one person has to be able to play that rhythm. And if you're really good, you play, put three congas there, you can play the rhythm and do a little soloing around it also. Maybe we'll cover that in another video. So here goes the rhythm. I'm gonna play the melody for you first. First I'll play the clave, then I'll play the melody within the clave so that you can hear how the melody goes with the clave. Here's the clave. Response. This goes pa pa. That's the two first strikes of the clave. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. And you saw how the melody goes in with that. Guys, it's very important to understand that. Understand how this goes within the clave. Because if you don't play it within the clave, everybody's looking at it and saying, no, that's wrong. That guy's cruzado, that guy is wrong. Because you'll play this rhythm on the other side of the clave. Okay? So now I'm gonna play the whole rhythm. Now you understand how it falls. Now I'm gonna play the rhythm. You're gonna notice something that in this rhythm. I play the one on the clave, but I don't play the one here. I play the end of one. Okay, so the clave that I'm playing with my foot starts one eighth of a note before this. One. So the one here. But you must learn how to play it within clave. That's the most important thing. You must learn how to play it within clave because you can play, go to the guys in the park and they're playing a rumba in the park and you go over there and you're playing outside of clave. That's with real rumba, you don't want to do that. <laughs> you don't want to do that. So, again, now you heard it, the whole rhythm. Now I'm going to break it down. So first measure, like I told you, it's a two bar phrase. The first bar, that's it. One, and two, and three, and four. One, 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 and two, and three, and four. That's your first measure. And I'm gonna play the and of four to complete the whole measure. One, and two, and three, and four, and one. One. This bass note is very important. That falls on the second bar of the first measure of the second note of the first measure of clave. See? You did not play the I didn't play the one. Okay? Playing it with clave is better for you to understand it. Right? So I'm now I'm going to complete the whole thing. One. That's the second measure. One. So if you were to play it starting on the two side. This will be tough starting it on the two side. Smash. 
measure, one and two and three and four and second measure, one and two and three and sorry, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Second measure, one and two and three and four. separate drummers. I'm playing the two parts. The one part, the four, I'm always playing the four here. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. together again. Remember, we're not playing the one. Okay? One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Right, like, right, left, right. Notice this is playing the ands or the pickups, and this is just ghost notes. That's all it is. Now, before we end the video, I want to explain something to you. If you're playing this by yourself in a band, okay, and you're, it's just you, there's no other percussion, maybe it's just the, the, the drummer, it's the, like a Latin jazz band, Conguero and a drummer, and the drummer's playing uh, the caja, and he's playing the, the check it with his, with his foot with the hi hat and he's playing clave and everything. So you're playing this. You can play it more like if you were playing a little bit of solo in between. That's cool. Because you're actually putting a little bit of uh, hits from the, from the quinto in there. Now, if you're playing and there's another quinto, a guy playing a quinto, or another percussion is there, a bongo cero playing the quinto part. Me personally, I like to play just the melody and don't play the, the, the pickup notes, or should I say the ghost notes. Don't play them too loud like I was playing them before. I'm gonna play them like this. stepping all over the bongo player or the quinto player or whoever's going to be soloing. So I like to keep it down. That's just something that I learned for many years playing rumbas and, and, and playing in different bands with, with other guys soloing on top of that. Okay guys, I think this covers it pretty much. Rumba, Guaguanco, De Habana, we played it in 3-2. I also showed you how a little bit of how to play it in 2-3. But I think that'll cover it. Any questions, leave it on the comments on this video. Leave it on the comments, and I'll answer your comments, and I'll answer any questions you have of this. But again, watching the previous video on uh, clave from Cuba, the styles of two styles of clave of Cuba, uh, that will help you also. Okay, guys, I'm going to put at the end, I'm going to put a little video that I did of just playing the rumba guaguancon, two congas, 
with the clave. I'll put it right after this. God bless you guys. Thank you. Uh, any comments, any questions, leave it in the comments. Please like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video.